Hi, this is Dr. Surbhi Agrawal here from uh, SBKS Medical Institute and Research Center, Vadodara. I'm here to represent the role of CT imaging to evaluate osteomatal complex in inflammatory lesions of the paranasal sinuses. The osteomatal complex or unit is the region where the frontal, anterior and middle ethmoid and maxillary sinuses drain. This includes the frontoethmoidal recess, uncinate process, hiatus, semilunaris, ethmoid bulla, the maxillary infundibulum and ostium along with the ethmoid infundibulum. It may be normal, blocked or widened in a different inflammatory conditions of the paranasal sinuses. CT scanning is the prime importance because it is helpful in evaluation of osteomatal complex in different inflammatory conditions of the paranasal sinuses. The aims and objectives is to study the appearances of osteomatal complex in different inflammatory conditions of the PNS using CT scanning and it helps to decide the line of management in different appearances. 100 cases of either strong suspicion or diagnosis of inflammatory conditions of the PNS were evaluated. A detailed clinical history with clinical examination and follow-up of the suspected proven cases was done by the CT scan. CT imaging was performed using continuous spiral scan of the spiral paranasal sinuses with the IV contrast like urography. The, this term osteomatal complex is used by the surgeon to indicate the area bounded by the middle turbinate medially, lamina papris are laterally and the basal lamella superiorly and posteriorly. The inferior and anterior borders of the OMC complex are open. Osteomatal complex is divided into the anterior and posterior. The space behind the basal lamella containing the posterior ethmoidal cells is referred to as the posterior OMC and drains into the posterior third of the bilateral ethmoids and spinoid sinus. Hence, the anterior and posterior OMC have separate drainage systems. These are the two figures describing the anterior and posterior OMC. The conditions are like sinusitis, polyp, mucosal, retention, cysts, granulomatous diseases like tuberculosis, syphilis, rhinoscleroma, actinomycosis, vaginous granulomatosis, foreign body granuloma, and mycotic infections. 100 patients of inflammatory conditions of the paranasal sinuses were evaluated. Out of this, OMC evaluation was done in 53 cases. 20 patients had normal OMC despite being affected by inflammatory conditions. 20 patients had blocked OMC. Out of these 12 had sinusitis. 6 had polyp, 1 had mucosal, and another 1 had other inflammatory conditions of the PNS. Widening of uh, osteomatal complex was seen in 13 cases. Out of these, three suffered from sinusitis, nine had poly, and another one patient had inflammatory conditions of the PNS. This is a table um, um, uh, depicting the normal blocked and widened uh, other, uh, other conditions like sinusitis, poly, retention, cyst, mucosal. This is a graph with the showing normal, widened, and the blocked as OMC. This helps the surgeon to decide the line of management since a surgical approach is required if there is a blockage of the osteomatal complex. In the recent 47 cases, osteomatal complex was not evaluated and the patients were treated. Of these, 22 patients suffered from the complications like mucosal, pyosal, or osteomyelitis, intracerebral abscess, or vital cellulites, and the chronic sinusitis. Respective studies of these patients shows that the blockage of the OMC on the initial studies. This is a chart showing the complications, how much percentage they depicted. These are the different cases. This is the case of maxillary sinusitis with the normal OMC. This is another case of maxillary sinusitis with the blocked osteomatal complex. This is a case of maxillary polyp. Nasal cavity polyp is being depicted in this picture. The, here, entrocoinal polyp can be seen. Heterogeneous rim enhancing collection is seen in right maxillary antrum, which, uh, which says us the maxillary sinus tubercular infection is being depicted in this picture. Here, maxillary sinus abscess is seen because of the expansion of right maxillary sinus cavity, which is filled with the air fluid level.
Mucosal is depicted in this picture as fluid density appears homogeneous in left maxillary sinus with the block to MC and mild expansion of the sinus cavity. This is a case of retention cyst. Here, vaginous granulomatosis can be seen as soft tissue density lesion in the right maxillary sinus and nasal cavities with the expansion of sinus cavity and the bone thinning. Here we conclude that CT imaging remains the ideal scanning modality to evaluate when seeing different inflammatory conditions of the paranasal sinuses and help to change the line of management in different appearances. Thank you.